Eller, so much to talk about. First of all, you are 20 years old, and uh, you are uh, part of this film that has eight Oscar nominations. Congratulations. That's just absolutely incredible. <laughs> and then this achievement, which is really stunning to watch. We watch you grow up in this movie. Uh, Entertainment Weekly just came out with this issue, and they put, they photoshopped you at three different ages uh, on the cover, and it's really stunning to look at. There we go, right there. And it's you with your younger selves, which feels like it's gotta be trippy for you to look at. <laughs> yeah. uh, first of all, I would not wanna, I didn't like my younger well, self. I wouldn't yeah, hang yeah. out with them, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, they were like, they were like hug, hug them like you would hug yourself. I, like, I don't know if I would hug 12 year old me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's the, whole th the whole thing is so strange. You were six years old when you were cast for this film. And we have a picture of you then. So literally, this is how long you've been involved in this process. When you're six, and you're signing up for a movie that you tell, they tell you is gonna take 12 years, 13 years to make, do you understand what you're signing up for? I mean, I, the concept of 12 years is pretty abstract when you're six, you know. Yes, it's like, right. like the next 12 years is sort of hard to imagine now, but when it's you know, more than twice your life, it's uh, strange. But I mean, I understood as much as I could. I, I was, you know, I was and it sounded like a cool sure. idea to you. Yeah. And the way you did it was you shot for three to four days a year, is that correct? Yeah, about, you know, I mean, people hear 12 years and it sounds like this massive time commitment. And I mean, in a way it was, but each year, you're, you know, it was a week tops, you know, including rehearsals and everything. So right. it wasn't, you know, a terribly, it wasn't a burden. But, you know, one thing that seems strange to me is when you're a kid and you're trying to explain to people what it is you're doing. I mean, there are a lot of kids that can say, right, yeah, I yeah. just shot... Uh, a Captain Crunch commercial, it's gonna be on in three weeks, and then they, uh, your friends can see it and be like, yay, good commercial. You're, what are you telling your friends when you're a kid? Right, and like, do yeah. they even believe you <laughs> because you're saying, you'll see it far in the future? <laughs> yeah, it's this movie and it's sort of just about life and it's gonna be out in a decade, you know? It, yeah. Um, it's like, you kind of say, oh, it's like Richard Linklater, and they're like, oh, you know, I, I know who that is, but it's kind of like, okay, well, good luck with that. You know? Yeah, I would think that would be a lie I would have told on the playground. <laughs> when bullies were teasing me and I've said, back all of you, I'm part of a massive project. <laughs> it will earn great acclaim in 20 years. <laughs> I'd have, have exactly. kicked the shit out of me. Uh, <laughs> you're growing up on film and that can present some problems for, but not for you. I mean, I had, awkward stages. Some say I'm still trapped in an awkward stage, but you, I, you throughout the whole film, you never seem to have an awkward stage. You're growing up, I think we have a sort of a, we see you grow up and you, you always look self-possessed and, and, and cool and interesting at every single age, which I think is I think you feel a lot more awkward than you are. It, I, I, I felt pretty awkward, but I mean, and also the, I mean, the film was sort of an escape, it was kind of a safe place, you know, it was a place to kind of explore the awkwardness of life, but you know, through a, through a fiction, so it's you know a little less uh, scary than real life. But now, I certainly was awkward and still am. Well, the di the director, as you said, Richard Linklater, uh, he uh, would sometimes ask you for your personal experiences of what you were going through. So when you started to get interested in girls, he asked you to write down what was going on with you, so that he could maybe incorporate it into the film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that first, that first conversation with Sheena, the, the big kind of girlfriend, was pretty much directly out of my head and the things I was, you know, <laughs> uh, spouting at, at teenage girls at the time. So now you've got a lot of teenage girls that are angry at you from years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you were thinking knew, about. I it's like they can read your diary now from a while ago. Exactly. That's so exactly. strange.